This is our new case traction engine. I'll just have a quick look around and show you the various bits and pieces. There's a single cylinder with a cylinder drain on it. Drives down to an overhung crank. And then the crankshaft runs through to the clutch mechanism and flywheel on the other side. It's got a forward reverse mechanism here with the notch up positions so you can see that operating the valve gear. The clutch has a little, um, two little shoes in there which engage and disengage over centre and the drive then goes down through the gearing down to the back axle. Uh, the engine sprung so you see how you can move up and down and the gearing all stays in mesh with the little links. It's got a steering wheel, a regulator, safety valve, boiler filler, pressure gauge, gas filler. We've got the uh, lubricator on the top for the fill here and the drain underneath. The gas fill is on the top here with the gas valve to control the burner. This is the water gauge on this side. On American engines, on them, it's halfway down the boiler, so if you uh, go up or downhill, it shows the same level. And there's a drain tap underneath at the bottom there. And you can open the smoke box door, and there you see the two flues with the burners in them. Right, we're filling up the boiler, I've taken the uh, filler out and I'm using a syringe just to put water in. You can do it with a funnel, it's no problem. When you've got the level correct, you can uh, put the top back on. Now the water's in there and you can check it by just lifting the engine, you see the water level move to and fro. Right, now we're filling up the, uh, the tank with a propane-butane mix and just press down on the top of the valve and the liquid gas goes in and fills the tank. It takes a minute or so. Right, you can hear when there's gas coming through because you turn it on and you can hear it coming out of the burner. The old Abe on the front of the engine here, he was a case masker and uh, originally the, the actual original old Abe was a, a military mascot from way back just after Civil War days and apparently Mr Case saw him at some military parade and thought he'd go well on the front of the engines. He certainly does look good. In fact our, our um, old Abe has just been touched up with a bit of paint to give him some colour. So if he's not quite dry yet, a couple of burners behind him will soon dry him off. So I'm taking the top off the lubricator, just filling it with some oil. This has got to be steam oil, it's the only oil that really works in a steam loco. The lubricator eventually gets full of water where the oil displaces out and you drain that at the bottom and then replace it with fresh oil every time you have a steamer. While we're getting pressure up I'm going to run around with the uh, steam oil and just put a little bit of oil on each of these working surfaces just to keep everything running nice and free. Right, we're just coming up to pressure and we're going to start the engine and see how she's going. There you see the cylinder drains. I'm going to turn them off when it's running nicely. Just 
ticking over quite sweetly. See how slow she'll run on notch up as well. 